Hey, this is Terry Toots with a quick tutorial on using lens effects in Terrigen 4. When using an actual camera, photographing bright light sources can cause image artifacts such as lens flare and other effects. Terrigen's render camera can simulate some of these effects, which can make your renders look more realistic. Today, we'll be looking at the bloom and starburst effects available in Terrigen. We'll start out in the default scene where I've placed a generic tree object from the Terrigen starter pack. I've also positioned the sun so that it's just peeking through the leaves. You'll notice that if we render now, it doesn't look particularly like the sun is shining through the leaves. Let's see if we can fix that. We'll go to the Filter tab in the Renderers pane. Here we'll find several post-processing effects, among which are Bloom and Starburst. First. Let's take a look at Bloom. Bloom simulates a lens effect where bright light bleeds over into the edges of darker areas. I'm going to lower the effect way down for this scene, but the effect is still pretty obvious. Starburst simulates a diffraction effect that creates a star-shaped light centered at the light source. Finally, let's look at both together. It's important to know that both of these effects are only applied after the render finishes so you won't see any change while the image is rendering. For example, watch as I render a preview of the scene with both effects turned on. When and how much of these lens effects to use is going to depend on your specific scene and taste, but when used effectively, they can add an extra touch of realism to your scene.